yo what's going on guys my name is Arman and today we're back here on HitFilm 4 Express and we're making another tutorial but before I tell you guys what the tutorial is we already saw it in the title of course but we hit 300 subscribers I think we're already at like 305 right now I mean that's just amazing about a month and a half ago we were at two, we just hit 200 so thank you guys so much for that well, today's tutorial is going to be on how to make a line burst. You know how to make a circle explosion. You can also call this a line explosion, but I'm going to call this a line burst. So the way that you make it is you're going to go up here to new. You're going to click plain. And I'm just going to make it any color. I'm just going to use white. You're going to make a new composite shot. And then just make that. You're going to drag in your... Um, plane and then you can grab these little corners right here to make it any size we're gonna make them kind of long and skinny about that big and then we're going to duplicate it until we have four of them like that and we can make, rename this one bottom bottom middle top middle Nope, not slash top, but top. It's always good to be organized. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom one. And you're going to go to transform and you're going to make the bottom middle one. Uh, sorry, and then you're also going to take the bottom, and then you're also going to take the top one. And take it to transform also. You're going to make the, the uh, rotation 90. So you're going to have kind of a, like a uh, plus sign in the middle. You're going to do that to the same thing on the bottom one. Like that. And then you can make the position. So we kind of want it right there. So we're going to make it negative 150. Then you're going to make the top one 150. Just like that. And then you're going to go to our bottom, middle, and top um, middle. I don't know what that says TP, but no one knows. And then you're going to take the position of these and make them 150 and negative 150. Just like that. So now you're going to have like a hole in the middle of it, like that. Just like that. We can go ahead and scale that back. So next what you're going to do is you're going to have to make a mask. So if you don't know what a mask is, you're going to go up here and we'll take bottom middle. You're gonna first you're gonna make a mask for the bottom one, which is right here. And you're going to make it up here. So you're gonna take this and you're going to go around it. Just like that. So that's how you make that first mask, and then you're going to go into transform in that one. Go to the position, and you're going to bring it up to the top of that one. So now that one's disappeared. Now you can go ahead, go to bottom middle. If we look and see where it is, that's the left one. So again, we're going to make another mask around that one and then we're going to go to the transform and we're going to take the position of it and we're going to take it over to the one on the far left next what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, t uh, to the top middle and we'll, that's the left one then you can make another mask around it and then you can go to the transform and then you can take that one over to where the other one would have been. The last but not least, we have the very top. Make another mask around it. And then go to the transform. And then you can go ahead and bring that one down. To that right there. So now that we have all of our mask made and everything, we can get rid of these transforms on the very bottom. We only need the uh, mask transforms now. 
so that's what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and zoom in on your timeline just a little bit and you're gonna go forward about 10 or 12 and then you're going to enable all the positions it's going to enable all of them and then you can go you know, let's say maybe about 40 and you're just gonna make them zero so that one's there and then go down again we can make this one zero then we can make this one zero then we can make this one zero so now we can see that our lines are now appeared now we have that how they kind of just come out that it's not very smooth but if we scroll to the top we can highlight all of our keyframes change it into manual bezier and now we have it's a little bit more smooth see how all those move they're just revealing all the uh, like the stripes so but then we saw that they disappeared so we get them to about right here and then we're done with all these transforms like with all the mask and everything so we can just go ahead and close up all the mask there we go go ahead and open up the new like the the regular transform just like that and then what we can do is change the um, position of them from right here we can go about 30 out you can always change their keyframes around and then you can change how far they go out so I'm gonna make mine about to leave the screen with all of them and then this one would be maybe about right there and this one would be maybe about right there that's been all of these this one would be almost leaving the screen too so we have about right there now so now they come out and they move so now we have, and then again, we can just change all these to manual bezier to make them look more smooth. But right here, let's make this a little bit faster so we can just highlight all those little, like the last ones, we can move them in. And so now we have, and right about at, a little farther in than this one. You can go to the opacity or opacity, whatever you want to call it, and you can go ahead and select all those. And then you can go out with it. And about three before the last keyframe. So one, two, three. Then you're just going to make it zero. Just like that. So now all of them are gone. And all we gotta do now is just select all those keyframes, change them to manual bezier, and now we should get something like this. I can drag this down. Looks pretty cool. It's just another kind of cool, um, like preset, not preset, but, um, it's kind of like another cool, uh, accent to your videos or intros or whatever you're making um they look really cool and so yeah and also the preset video will be out next week we finally we hit 25 likes on the last video and so i will be making a preset video <clears throat> to go up like that will be up next week also my shop will be opening up hopefully the next week hopefully you can buy custom intros intro templates lower thirds outros bunch of other stuff so be watching out for that it will be up probably next week i hope and i think that's about it so please leave a like comment and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye